The cat in the hat is about to appear. He's whizzing over to whisk you away on a fabulous journey today. He's coming! And now he's arrived in the thing of Majiga, the thing that he drives. He's a cat and he zoodles of fun with his hairy helpers thing to a thing one. Start like that. Wherever you're going, wherever you're at, the cat in the hat knows a lot about. He knows a lot about. He knows a lot about. He knows a lot about that. <laughs> Dropping in. <laughs> that ball sure has a bouncy bounce. It's the cat. The cat in the hat. I just love ball games. Can I have a try? Sure. Here, cat. <laughs> Thanks, fish. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> nice shot. What makes that ball so bouncy, cat? That's easy because it's made of flubber, my bubber. Or is that Mama Buffflubber? I'm not sure. You mean it's made of rubber. And I suppose you know where rubber comes from as well. Sure. A tree. A tree? Oh, no, 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 no. That's impossible. It's true. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's go and ask Dr. Twiggles <laughs> in Jingle Jangle Jungle. He knows all about trees. Yeah, let's go find out. Oh, your mother will not mind at all if you do. <laughs> Can we go with the cat to Jingle Jangle Jungle and ask Dr. Twiggles where rubber comes from? <laughs> Jingle Jangle Jungle? Of course, just make sure you bounce right back for dinner. Thanks, Mom. We can go, we can go! I know, I know! To the thingamajigger! Rubber from trees? <laughs> really? Who ever heard of such a thing? Just wait and see. I've never seen a bouncing tree before. That sounds cool. Are you ready? Yes, we are. Are you steady? Yes, we are. Are you sure you're ready to explore? Yes, we are. Then buckle up. <laughs> Flick the jigger, my wizard. <laughs> Twiggles, who may have a clue, rubber from trees, we'll see if it's true. Here we go, 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 on an adventure, go, 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 go! Whoa, there's a whole lot of trees down there. Well, where there are trees... We'll find Dr. Twiggles. Exactly! <laughs> sign of Dr. Twiggles anywhere. Then we're going to have to figure this out for ourselves. Let's think. Maybe if we found something bouncy, then we might find out where rubber comes from. Good idea, Sally. How about this? <laughs> not very squishy. <laughs> oh, ouch! And not very bouncy. Hey, look! He's bouncy. Maybe he will know where rubber comes from. Hey, Mr. Frog. Do you know where rubber comes from? Ribbit, ribbit. Frogs know all about hopping, but not about bouncing. Dr. Twiggles, it's so good to see your friendly face again. Hello! Hello! Hi! I was just checking out this floppy leaf problem. Ah, all done! Now, what could 
I do for you all today? Our ball is made of rubber, and we want to know where rubber comes from, Dr. Twiggles. Fish has this crazy idea. Rubber comes from trees. <laughs> Have you ever heard such a thing? Well, Fish is right. Totally, absolutely, perfectly correct. He is? <laughs> Told you so. Rubber does come from trees. How about that? Wow. But not just from any old tree. Oh, no siree. It has to be a rubber tree. Do you know where we could find one? I sure do. I have some rubber trees near my home. Want to make some rubber? Yeah. Can we? Run this way. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. <laughs> tree can't be a rubber tree. I can't see any rubber balls growing. And it doesn't feel very bouncy. Oh, of course not. You can't see the rubber yet because it's not outside, but inside. Trees, trees, glorious trees, from roots below to crowning leaves. This tree's a rubber. It has something to hide. If you want to make rubber, look inside. Stand aside. I'm so excited. This is what I call tapping the rubber tree. You mean like this? <laughs> no, 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 cat. Not tap dancing. We are going to tap the tree. Oh, you mean like this? Hello? Anyone home? <laughs> <laughs> we need to make a special cut right here in the tree trunk. It won't hurt the tree, will it, Dr. Twiggles? Oh, not at all, Sally. Trees don't feel anything. <laughs> Perfect! Cool! It looks like milk, but... Feels all sticky. Is it rubber, Dr. Twiggles? It will be rubber, Sally. But when it's sticky and wet like this, we call it latex. Latex? La la latex. Don't be late for latex. <laughs> <laughs> this dripping takes such a long time. So here's one I filled up earlier. Now for the exciting part. Follow me. Yay! Whee! We want to make sure there are no lumpy pieces left. Here we go, go, go! Why nice pouring there, Nick. Look, I can see the lumps left behind. Now, just a few drops of a special liquid that helps it set. And then I just need someone to stir. Let me, Dr. Twiggles. Sure thing, Sally. Allow me to be of assistance with this. Give it a big stir now. Perfect! Let's pour it into this tray to set. I have one already set over here. This one is ready to flip. <laughs> it's just like jelly. Now, all it needs is a little flattening to help it dry out. It's a little wobbly. Oh, things are about to get a whole lot wobblier. Are you ready? We're ready. ready. Can I go? Oh, come on, let me go. Take it away, cat. <laughs> Try again, cat. Okay, I'm on it. Nick, Sally, come and help me on this side now. We did it. We made our own rubber. Let's just go hang it out to dry, and we're all done. Can I stop now? <laughs> <sighs> well done, everyone. Fantastic job. Hmm. But it doesn't look like our rubber ball. Our ball is round. That's the interesting part. Once you have rubber in big sheets, you can shape it into all sorts of things. Want things made of rubber? I know that you do. Time to call for thing one and thing two. <laughs> wow, that's a 
amazing rubber hats and rubber boots keep you dry. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> know what else is made of rubber? Balloons! <laughs> I never knew balloons were made of rubber, too. <laughs> Help you float. <laughs> That's what cars run on rubber tires. I never knew so many things were made of rubber. Amazing, isn't it? Where's rubber come from? We wanted to ask. Deep in the jungle, we started our task. Sticky white latex that drips from a tree. It dries to make rubber. Well, that surprised me. Stir it, then flatten, and dry in the sun. That's how to make rubber. Oh, it's so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for showing us how to make rubber, Dr. Twiggles. My pleasure. Remember, if you need to know all about a tree, then just call me. We will. Bye, Doc. Bye. See ya. What a surprise! Who would have guessed that rubber is all around us? It makes so many things! Like our bouncy ball! Like the tires on the thingamajigger! Oh! And I see you're even standing on rubber! Huh? Look at the bottom of your shoes, guys! Oh! You mean the bottom of our shoes is made from rubber, too? Wow! Why do you think you guys are so bouncy? <laughs> <laughs> Kids, today I have a very hard question for you. What type of bear is the biggest in the whole world? Is it a black bear? Or is it a polar bear? Or is it a teddy bear? So which bear is the biggest in the world? If you said the polar bear, that's right! Polar bears are the largest of all the bears. Did you get it this time? Well, next time, I'll stump you for sure. Take a picture with our Snapperama cameras! I'll take the picture! And I'll guess what it is! This looks like a spider's web that's made of glass! It's too cold and snowy for spiders! Guess again! Oh! It's a snowflake! You guessed it! When you look at a snowflake close up, you can see that it's an ice crystal with six points! Wow! Great photo, Nick! <laughs> Climbing the tallest mountain in the world! Uh, uh, uh. I'll reach the top before you, Nick! Huh, uh. No way! I'm going to be king of the mountain! And I'm going to be queen of the mountain! Whoa! <laughs> I'm right back at the start! Whoa! <laughs> Me too! I'll show you how to do it! Cats are great climbers! It's the cat! The cat in the hat! You'll see. Nothing to it! What? <gasps> hmm. How about we meet a creature that knows a thing or two about climbing? Who? Timmy Tippy Toes, who lives on Mighty High Mountain. That's who. He'll show us how it's done. Timmy? Who is Timmy? He's a clip springer. A clip springer? Yes, a clip springer. Like a little deer. Can we meet him? Your mother will not mind at all if you do. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, can we go with the cat to the Mighty High Mountain and learn from Timmy how to climb? <laughs> Mighty High Mountain? Sure, but don't forget to watch your step. Thanks, Mom. We can go, we can go. I know, I know. To the thingamajigger. I remember Timmy Tippy Toe. He taught me how to stand on my tippy tail. Look. You need to go back for another lesson. <laughs> are you ready? Yes, we are. Are you steady? Yes, we are. Are you sure you're ready to explore? Yes, we are. Then buckle up. <laughs> Flick the jigger, my wizard.
Jimmy, who certainly knows all about climbing on his tippy toes. Here we go, 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 go. There on that rock. That'll be Timmy. Let's go down and say hello. Hey, Timmy. Sally and Nick here want to meet you. Hi. Come on down. But it's too steep for the thingamajigger to land. We'll slide right down the mountain. Try the unloadamadoters, cat. Ah. Uh, ah. Yes. Ah. Oh, absolutely. I was going to suggest that very thing myself. You drive! <laughs> Cat! <laughs> Guys, meet Timmy Tippy Toes the Clip Springer. Climber extraordinaire! <laughs> Hi! Hello! Clip Springer means rock climber. I climb rocks. You look like you're standing on your toes. Is that why they call you Timmy Tippy Toes? Toes? Oh, you mean my hooves. These are great shape for climbing. Where are you going, Timmy? I'm going to meet my mom and dad at the top of the mountain to see something absolutely amazing. What is it? Is it an elephant riding a bicycle? Perhaps a dancing hippopotamus? What can it be? If you come along with me, I'll show you. It's a surprise. Oh, I just love surprises, don't you? Come on, step this way. What are you guys waiting for? This is hard to do. Why can't I climb the rocks like Timmy? It's too steep, and we might fall. Don't worry about falling. When you need to keep safe and don't want to fall, why not give Thing 1 and Thing 2 a quick call? <whistles> Falls, they'll have it covered. Thanks, thing one and thing two. Huh? Hey, look at Timmy. Wow, look at him go. Oh my. <laughs> what a springy clip springer he is. How can we climb like him? Maybe if we had different shoes, we could climb the rocks better. Hmm. No. No. Perhaps not. <laughs> oh, dear, these are not right. We need feet just like Timmy's. Then we could be great climbers. Of course. Why didn't you say so? How about these? These feel just perfect. Clip Springer shoes. To the surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Uh, uh, Whoa. Uh, 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 Whoa. I have Clip Springer feet, but I still can't seem to climb like Timmy. Whoa. This is hard. Uh, having trouble, guys? Hmm, let's see. Timmy isn't standing like us. He's using all four feet. That's why he's such an amazing climber. We should use our arms as an extra set of tippy toes. Coming right up. Uh, hey, look at me. I'm a clip springer. It's so much easier to climb now. Isn't this fun? These four hooves are great for balance. And the shape is just right to grip in between the rock. Great job, guys. You're climbing almost like me. Why, let's celebrate with a song. If you're heading for the top, you want to reach the highest height. You need to use your hands and your tippy toes. That's right. This is our song. And this is how it goes. We need tippy, tippy hands. And tippy, tippy toes. If the rocks are too slippy and the mountains are too tall, you need to use your hands and 
in your timpy toes. That's all. <laughs> this is our song. And this is how it goes. We need tippy, tippy hands. And tippy, tippy toes. Oh, what fun we are having. Look, I just jumped like Timmy, but not as far as Timmy. He's built for jumping. Oh. I'm okay. First time I ever climbed in Clipspringer's shoes before. Last one to the top is a silly egg. I'll see you there, Nick. <laughs> Oh dear. I'm all tuckered out. Well, climbing is thirsty work. Drink time! But you're eating a leaf! Yes, I get all the water I need from this plant. It's called a succulent. A succulent? I get it. You suck water from a succulent. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a peek. I see drops of water inside, but we can't drink from a bush. Can't speak for you guys, but I certainly like my drink with a straw. Mm. Good. Timmy, you said we were going to have a big surprise. Ooh, it's the best ever. Mom, Dad, these are my new friends. We just climbed the mountain together. Welcome. Hey, look at me! <laughs> Top of the mountain! <laughs> hey, Timmy! I can't wait for the surprise! Where is it? Why, it's right behind you! The biggest surprise ever! Wow! The best sunset I have ever seen! And this is the best spot on the mountain to see it! We always enjoy the sunset just before bedtime. <sighs> I feel tired. <sighs> Maybe it is time for bed. Looks like we're all too tuckered to climb back, but we could hitch a ride home. <whistles> Bye, Timmy! Goodbye, see you soon! We learned about climbing and making feet grip. How to leap rocks, Timmy gave us a tip. When animals need a drink, there's something to try. A succulent plant keeps its water close by. <laughs> and at the end of the day, when the climbing is done, watching a sunset is such glorious fun. Phew! <sighs> we did it! We made it to the top of mountain. <laughs> you did, you did. It was because of these. You need to wear the right things for climbing. And you need to use your hands and your feet. Time to climb the stairs to bed, guys. Coming. Maybe it would be quicker if we slid down. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Chat. Today, we are going to interview an Eyed Hawk Moth. Here I am! Hello, Mr. Moth. We didn't see you there. You blend in with the bark on the tree. Yes, I do. The color of my body helps to camouflage or hide me. Neat! You're so camouflaged, I can't even see your body. Only your big eyes. Those aren't my real eyes. Those are my wings! Wow! Your wings look just like a face! That's right! The pattern on my wings look like big eyes! This makes me look much bigger than I am, so other animals don't try to pick on me! Thanks for teaching us all about your cool wings, Mr. Moth! Yeah! And next time, we'll know which face to talk to! See you later! the monarch butterfly. Let's join her on a journey through the sky. The monarch travels so far and wide. It's called migration. Let's go for a ride. Go butterfly, go butterfly, go butterfly, go. Where's 
she going and why in such a hurry? She's flying to warmth before a snow flurry. Because when it turns cold, the monarch can't fly. So she leaves in the fall and takes to the sky. No butterfly, no butterfly, no butterfly, no. She isn't alone. She has many friends who join in her travels all the way to the end. All together like a big family. Huddle up warm on the branch of a tree. It's only the monarch who travels so far. They're the best at flying. They really are. No butterfly, no butterfly, no butterfly, no. No butterfly, no butterfly, no. The cat in the hat sure knows a lot about animals. Do you? Let's play an animal guessing game. Which of these animals would you find in the ocean? El mar. Is it the chicken? No. No, chickens live on land. How about this turtle? Would you find it in the ocean? Yes. Right. But you might also find a turtle living on land, too. You can play more games like this with the cat in the hat at pbskids.org. Now, let's go on a reading adventure with Super Y.